Using this protocol in future studies with larger sample sizes may determine whether variable cortical visual evoked potential morphology is dependent upon stimulus type, extrinsic, or the viewer, intrinsic. Variable visual evoked potential morphology can only be viewed using the high temporal resolution of EEG, which is also cost-effective, non-invasive, and requires minimal recording time versus other methodologies. Demonstrating the procedure will be Mashhood Nielsen, the lab manager and an undergraduate research assistant from my laboratory. After escorting the participant into the EEG recording room, measure the head circumference of the participant in centimeters and select the appropriate EEG net size. Measure and mark the midpoint of the scalp for the placement of the reference electrode. Prepare 1 liter of warm water mixed with 5 milliliters of baby shampoo and 1100 grams of potassium chloride. Place the EEG net in the solution and allow the net to soak in the solution for 5 minutes. Turn on the stimulus presentation computer and the EEG acquisition computer. Place a towel or other absorbent material around the participant's neck to prevent the solution from dripping onto his or her clothes and instruct the participant to close his or her eyes. Then firmly grip the EEG net with both hands and place it onto the participant's head. Ensure that the net is placed symmetrically on the scalp head with the reference electrode at the scalp midline point that was measured.